Alright, M2 Only Plague. I'm not sure I'll post this uh, this week, but I'm not sure if I'll get another Oni game ready before Plague, so might be early. So game plan, we can't guarantee that they'll cleanse themselves, so our pink add-on makes it so that whenever they finish a gen, we get our power, but it's short 20 seconds shorter than normal, but the purple add-on cancels that out. So Tinker is going to tell us what gen's almost going to pop and give us our power. Bitter Murmur will give us a bit of aura reading, which is good because when the gen pops, we get Bitter Murmur and our power. And then we've got Deadlock to make sure that the gens don't all pop at the same time. That way I've got maximum time in my power. And lastly, I've got Infectious Fright because it's possible that I only get my power six times. So we've got to make it worth it. So Infectious will just help me find survivors during my power time. I can't see them, Claude is so camouflagey. Oh, okay, uh, that's definitely coordinated. I guess we're dealing with a swift. I kind of had a feeling four flashlights is probably a survive with friends. I've never understood how top tier plagues can focus on the survivors so much and hit them and predict the movements and get them fully infected and basically one chuck up. Alright, so we're going to sneak up on those people with Tinkerer and when they pop the gen we'll have our power. Oh crap, we've got multiple Tinkerers. That's, that's why we have Deadlock though. No infectious fry, so I'll probably pick up. Man, we're losing all of our tinkerers. <laughs> that lorry's injured and out in the open. Surprised I missed, but yeah, I thought that they would be an easier target than even the injured person because they're out in the open. Let's reset our power. Oh, thank god they popped the gen just before. If I had already drunk that, that would be a huge waste of a fountain. That room's too dangerous to go down into because there's a paddler down there. We could get stunned and lose our power, and I don't think we'll get a hit. No Infectious Fright again, I should be safe, but there is three other flashlights still up, so... Yeah, I don't know how far that can go. <laughs> Okay, they're a survive with friends, so they're gonna have good communication, so let's go pick up. Slightly worried about a flashlight hiding somewhere though. Ooh, the benches are low there, I reckon we can get a hit. I can may as well just use up the fountains whenever I'm next to one. That makes sense to me.
Damn, shame she wasn't injured. She was sick, but I guess she's not fully infected yet. Okay, so there must be two people inside this building. Yeah, that was a bit silly. This is a good group of survivors. They're not <laughs> gonna pallet camp. Ooh, we got a ninja. I, I figured we would probably get one of them, right? There's so many there. Damn, I even saw them. I'm... Why did I pick up? Alright, well, let's go drink up, I guess. I wonder if the uh, infectious fried on uh, drinking add on would be good. There's an add on that makes it so that whenever you drink, all the survivors in your terror radius scream. That could be handy. I mean, Tinker is not going to do much here. They're going to see me coming. Heck, the Cheryl's probably even going to call it out. Oh man, that was pretty close, I think. We do have a few people sick now, so that's a good thing. It's a bit harder to get people sick because we can't use our green vomit as much. <laughs> Bad luck, Cheryl, when Jen popped just as she reached full infection. Ah, the flashy rescue's coming in. Three down, we got momentum on our side, let's go! Okay, looks like Rebecca is picking the other two up now though. That's okay, that's a bit of a confidence booster, we hadn't been doing amazing until then. Lust and popping is not a confidence booster though. How do we miss that? Oh, that's a chase I feel like we probably should have won. Now we gotta stay on the injured person and they're taking themselves so far away from door as well. We have run out of power though, thankfully we've got a fountain here. No infectious, so we'll do an instant pickup. Alright, let's make things difficult for them. Oh, my power's not nearly over, but I don't see any reason to not drink up now. I've got a long, long way to travel. I think I can get one of them. Uh, yes, that was a pretty solid hit and pretty important one too. Oh, I don't know if I should have uh, left her alone because she's got a pallet nearby. In 
interesting. She's crawled away from the pallet. Oh no, was that Soul Guard? Oh, I thought Soul Guard only gave you endurance if you had hexes, but it must have been. And I'm out of power, I gotta get to that red fountain. Wow, that was an amazing play from the Cheryl. Well, GG's to this team. I think we still played well. Um, we got a lot of downs, but not all of them turned into hooks. Because uh, this team had really good coordination. Great job by them. Uh, we'll try something different next game. Because our game plan for this uh, game was pretty much lose my generators. Which isn't a great plan. Ooh, good map. And I spawned next to a pool as well. I got lethal pursuer, so let's do it. So this time my game plan is not to lose gens, so I've brought Thanatophobia instead so that uh, hopefully that pushes them towards cleansing because if they don't cleanse, I can't, I can't kill them. And then I guess the rest of the build is just tracking. Also, I apologize in advance because usually the second game is better because I go and try to learn the killer a bit more. But this time I've just decided this week that I have to post play because I can't do Oni. There's the girl I saw before that was hiding pretty well. I think let's just pick up instead of spending too much time trying to find her. There she is, and <laughs> she's wearing red, so she's probably been hiding in a bush. I never really minded the bushes on this map because it's a fairly killer sided map anyway, but then they went and added the same red bushes that are super easy to hide in on Shattered Square, and that's a bit rough. Well, she's probably pretty close to injured, and I can't down when I've only got green vomit, so we'll leave her for now. Uh, the Meg must be there then. That's our eerie add on. Let's go uh, try to make her sick again. Actually, I've been distracted. <laughs> I want this shake now. Yes, yes, give me palace for free. I'm not even gonna dang you anyway. I'm thinking this is probably too difficult. We might actually have to go up, which is a shame. That was a bit of an oopsie daisy. And Fung is right here as well. Yay! No, yay! She's too far away. Well, I got the gen, I can tell because I got the uh, contagious score effect up the top right. And Fung's touched that generator as well. Really? How did I miss her? Uh, I mean, that's not a, how did that miss? That's a, I'm trash. How did I miss because I'm so bad? How am I so bad? And she's still not sick. I can see her scream because she got vomited on, but she's not sick. Alright, these guys are definitely cleansing up. Let's... I'm going to assume that's because of fanatophobia. That way I can be happy because I made a smart decision. Let's uh, put some green vomit on some gens first and then we'll uh, power up. Oh boy, that one's going in the monthly compilation. That was awesome. This is starting to become an epic snowball! Alright, <laughs> and just like last game, I don't know where the fourth person is. So I don't know how many hooks this will turn into. Let's drink up straight away and keep the pressure on.
<laughs> I thought she hadn't noticed me. I thought she was just gonna go and drink and make herself a sitting duck. She seemed to be tracking me pretty well. Maybe just luck. Yeah, I've already learned by now that I'm not going to hit anyone up there. Man, she just finished in time. Oh, and I'm back to green vomit now as well. Oh man, so close. Well, we'll drink up and then uh, hopefully we find her. Hopefully she doesn't go too far. It's an open map. We'll, we should be able to see her. Oh, we're doing this, are we? What? How did that not hit? But anyway, enjoy the floor. This is why Boil Over is my least favorite survival perk. So annoying. Ooh, well done of her to get out of that situation. Good job. Wait, really? Do they use up all of my fountains? When I've been drinking from them a lot. Well done to them. Oh, I'm so upset that miss. If I aimed a little bit higher, that would have been a really nice hit. Ah, uh, they just picked up Michaela, I know where they are now. And Michaela's happy to go down in the same spot, it would seem. That would be unproductive of me to do that though, let's just hook Fung again. Alright, well I can't actually down you, but I'll make you fully infected. Excuse me, I can't hit you. Please, move. Oh, Michaela, you let her get away. Thank God they drunk up. I was getting a little bit worried. <laughs> I love all Molly is. Aura reading perks in general are just great. Well, I can't see any hooks and you're running boil over, so it's kind of your fault. Aura reading add-ons are also great, I love them. Oh, that was lucky, I barely have my power left. I can hook you this time, sucker! She probably could have evaded the last little bit of my red vomit, but she was too greedy wanting to get into her little safe spot. <laughs> when all else fails, try friendly teabagging. Oh man, I thought that was a good chance that I'd be able to stop them from finishing the gens this time, but... No such luck. Oh, I don't think the angle's right there. At least not with... Maybe you could hit that with a purple add-on that increases projectile speed. Very skillful play here. She's the one I want to die the most. We're in a good spot here though. Never mind, I was about to say if we catch the fung it could be a 4k, but I guess we gotta find two people now. And they had the doors 99, so that's a bit of a problem, but uh, it'll be really hard for them to rescue the Michaela.
Wait, I'm curious. Was the other fun scream in a locker? I don't know if infectious works in lockers. Alright, let's bolt to that fountain and drink up again. We need our power. I can see that they're drinking up. That's good for us. We can get two hits really quickly, so I think that's fine. It gives us more time after all to actually get there. Oh, but we were not fast enough, and <laughs> that ending was pretty much identical to the last game. So, Legion should be next. Honestly, I don't know if it's even plausible to get more than one kill as Legion, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Hasn't stopped me before.